Going through an engine swap presents many little challenges. And the challenge I have been up against now is um, this instrument cluster and how I'm going to go ahead and, and get the necessary information I need. Right, So I'm, I'm using a 722-636 transmission with an aftermarket uh, transmission computer uh, controlling it in this uh, 123 Mercedes. And of course that is an electronic uh, transmission. So the old 123 speedometers are cable driven. So that whole gauge there in the middle is now uh, obsolete. It's, uh, it's not usable. The clock is really meaningless uh, for me in my car. And uh, of course this gauge here on the left is of great importance to me uh, because I need to keep an eye on that temperature and oil um, at all times. So the solution for this was for me to go with aftermarket gauges. That too presents some issues, especially with the fuel. So I, you can get uh, little components that will adjust the the resistance of the tank sending unit to the gauge that you want to use, but I didn't really want to go through all that. Um, also, I wanted some some gauges with a little more sophistication, so I decided to go with speed hut gauges. Now, the speed hut gauges they have built-in uh, bright indicators, turn signals. And uh, really it has a display uh, panel built in the gauge that will do all kinds of things for me, like quarter mile time, uh, zero to 60, a lot of other things. So with that gauge, and they make a quad gauge, which will have the, the fuel in it, the oil pressure, the temperature, and the voltage. So I can replace really this whole instrument cluster with those two gauges. So the gauges I've ordered, I have a four inch speedometer and it has a built-in tack. It's uh, really a dual gauge. And then I have a 3 and 3 eighths, I believe it is, um, quad gauge. And then for the aftermarket transmission computer, I'm actually going to mount that on this side. However, having a 4-inch gauge in here is a really tight fit. So to get around that, I've decided to make my own instrument cluster. So here we have the start of my new instrument cluster. What I did is I went on eBay and I bought an old uh, shell instrument cluster and then I cut out all of the internal pieces with my air cell. Now that uh, left a real rough surface so I sanded it down the best I could and then I went ahead and used uh, glazing putty and I, I tried to get it as as good as I could with a reasonable amount of effort. So the next step is I, I took some Lexan and I made a, a rough template and cut it out and it's real important if you're gonna if you're gonna try this to put your instrument cluster back in the dash before you secure the Lexan to the instrument cluster. The reason is if you look at this, this bottom support here is is pretty thin. There, there's no support material anymore when I cut it out, so it has a lot of give to it. And if you just put your piece of Lexan in and secure it, uh, there's no guarantee that this cluster is gonna fit uh, once you're done. So with the shell inside the dash, I went ahead and uh, flipped it upside down and I hot glued it. So it's not pretty, but it's pretty strong. Then I came back with the, uh, the glazing putty again and I wanted to fill in and try to make it as smooth as possible. So again, it, it doesn't really need to be perfect or it's not going to be in my case. Uh, the reason is I'm going to use the SCM product that, that puts kind of a OEM type texture on it. So when I'm done and it's somewhat smooth, I'm going to spray it. It'll put like a, a leather-ish kind of texture on it. And then I'm going to go ahead and make a silicone mold of this and pour new plastic in it so it's a one-piece product then. And it should be very strong at that point. Now the back, nobody's going to see it. I'm probably just going to do a uh, you know, smooth it out a little bit, uh, but I do want it thicker in the corners so it's stronger when it's in the dash. And uh, again, nobody's going to see this, it doesn't matter, but I want it to look okay. I want it to be uh, halfway decent. It's the front I'm worried about. But by doing this, I gain all the real estate now I need for my gauges, right? So I'll have a four inch gauge, three and three eighths, and then the square uh, OLED uh, display for the transmission computer and I'll have everything I need, modern dash and the classic 123. Thanks for watching.